The U.S. Navy destroyer USS John S. McCain passed through the Taiwan Strait on Wednesday. As per U.S. Navy's Seventh Fleet, this is the first transit through the waterway since President Biden took office. According to the press release, the vessel transited the 100-mile-wide strait under international law aimed to address Chinese maritime claims. U.S. Navy Lieutenant Joe Keeley, spokesman for the Navy's Seventh Fleet, stated, The ship's transit through the Taiwan Strait demonstrates the U.S. commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific. The United States military will continue to fly, sail, and operate anywhere international law allows. Images of the warship apparently leaving its home port in Yokosuka, Japan and heading to the South China Sea are circulating online. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the transit of USS John S. McCain in the Taiwan Strait is a clear message to China from President Biden's administration. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. China considers Taiwan as part of its territory and is willing to bring it back into its fold even if it requires force. In this context, it's important to note that in January last year, Taiwanese voters have re-elected incumbent President Tsai Ing-wen in a landslide election. This is seen as a sharp rebuke to Beijing and its attempts to intimidate and lure Taiwan into China's fold. She easily defeated her opponent, Han Kaoyu, whose Kuomintang party promotes closer ties with China. Since this, China has taken a very hostile stance and has been sending aircraft and ships to intimidate Taiwan. The relation between Taiwan and the United States is unofficial and informal and is governed by the Taiwan Relations Act. The Taiwan Relations Act is designed to maintain ambiguity and does not state if the USA will or will not intervene militarily if the PRC attacks or invades Taiwan. Under the Act, the US is obligated to sell arms of a defensive character to Taiwan. The US has supplied many different weapons platforms to Taiwan and has also provided associated training. Taiwan Strait is part of the larger dispute of the South China Sea region. China claims most of the South China Sea. It's said that it has indisputable sovereignty over the area. Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, and Taiwan have disputed these claims. The route is significant as about $5 trillion in trade through shipping passes each year. Countries like the US, Japan, and India have no claims in the area and want freedom of navigation as per international maritime laws. USS John S. McCain is an Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer in the United States Navy. Arleigh Burke class warships were designed as multi mission destroyers capable of anti aircraft warfare, AAW, anti submarine warfare, ASW, and anti surface warfare, ASUW. USS John S. McCain, being an Arleigh Burke class destroyer, is among the largest destroyers built in the United States. It has an overall length of 509 feet or 155 meters and a displacement of about 9,200 tons. USS John S. McCain is powered by four General Electric LM2500 30 gas turbines producing 100,000 horsepower 75 megawatts that drives two shafts. It has a speed of 30 plus knots or 55 plus kilometers per hour 
and a range of 4,400 nautical miles or 8,100 kilometers. USS John S. McCain is very well equipped and is designed to be a multi-weapons platform. It has in total 96 cell Mark 41 vertical launch system VLS divided into two blocks of 32 and 64 cells. These can be configured with the combination of weapons which includes RIM 161A SM 2ER block 4 for anti-aircraft and anti-ship roll, SM-3 for ballistic missile defense, ESSM for the anti-missile roll, SM-6 for anti-air and anti-ship warfare, Tomahawk for land attack, and VL ASROC for anti-submarine missile. It also has two Mark 141 Harpoon missile launchers for anti-ship roll, two Mark 32 triple torpedo tubes are present launching Mark 46 or Mark 50 torpedoes, two MH-60R Seahawk LAMPS-3 helicopters are also accommodated for anti-submarine warfare. Other than these, it is equipped with a long-range naval gun and multiple close-in weapon systems. As usual, China has lodged a verbal protest. Senior Colonel Zhang Shunhui, spokesperson for the PLA Eastern Theater Command, stated, The U.S. move to send warship to sail through the Taiwan Strait and hype it publicly is an old trick to manipulate the cross-strait situation. China is firmly opposed to that. Under the Trump administration, naval and aerial operations were stepped up with an aim to push back against what the Pentagon regards as increasing Chinese military hegemony in the region. Though some observers were of the view that the Biden administration could curtail these missions, this transit seems to indicate that is not the case. USS John S. McCain, being a multi-mission destroyer, can take on Chinese military aircraft as well as surface combatants. It is heavily armed and provoking it in any way will lead to strong retaliation. It is clear that the U.S. military will not back down. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.